First thing, before I say anything else, I forgot my hat. This is not good. Oh, I do have hair. There we go. Morning everybody, fantastic to see you all again. So I'm back in the Lake District, yay! And I, I'm in my camper van, you can probably just see it over there. If I just put it over there, it should focus just over there somewhere. And I just got here now, it's about seven o'clock and I'm just gonna walk to the top of this hill and hopefully get a little bit of light just in the valley. I'm glad to be doing some big vistas again. This is what it's all about. We may have it all Up the ladder, down the wall Different mysteries Full love mixed with tea rain I thought it's gonna be not much wind it just shows you how quickly things can change in the mountains and what I've done is made sure that somebody knows where I am so my wife knows exactly what I'm gonna do where I'm gonna go when I'm gonna be back when I'm gonna be at the top I've got a mobile signal and I've got a GPS tracker in my back as well so you have gotta be super super careful even though I can see the road at just a fall and, and not be able to contact somebody would be disastrous I just want to talk a little bit. Oh, the light up there is amazing. That's what I was coming for. Oh, I think I might just be a little bit too late. I, mean, I probably need to go over the ridge, but I've seen this scene. The clouds are coming in, so I want to get it. So I just want to talk you through a scene. I've just arrived, and I thought I'd talk you through the sort of things that I do um, when I get to a scene. So I've, I've arrived, there's a nice S bend here of the water, and then a, a valley in the distance. It's going to be a wide angle shot because I'm going to want to get a lot of this water falling in the foreground. So I've got my 14 to 30 millimeter lens on. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my um, screen out like this and I'm just going to look around and see if I can find anything. Then, when I've found the composition, I'll put my tripod down. So, I think there's, there's, all the spots are good, but the first spot I got to, the one down at the bottom there, was really good. And um, I, I thought, if I'd have arrived here and just put my tripod down there, I'd have thought, yeah, I've got the shot. But when I just stepped back up to here, then I got an even better shot because I had more of this water coming through into the scene. And then when I moved over there, I realised that that wasn't as good, but all three could have been shots you could have taken. Now, what will probably happen is I'll probably put the tripod up here because I think that's the best of the options I've got here. I can't be any further away because these rocks are really messy and they'll start to look bad. So, I'll put the tripod up there and then I'll start to fine tune it a little bit. But it's, um, I need some light in the mountains over there. But there's blue sky behind so you just never know. I've taken a shot in all three different places because each has got its merits in the end. I think I prefer the one at the top, but I'm going to show you all three of them. I just wanted to show you certain things that I've done here that I think are a good idea to think about when you're taking a shot like this. So I'll just point at my camera and show you some of the things. So first of all, I wanted to try and get about a third of a second. So to get a third of a second, I've got a polarizing filter on. So I've got this polarizing filter on. So it just helps to reduce the shutter speed as well. I'd use this to do about F10, and if I need to, I'd focus stack it. Um, but in this case, I want to get it to a third of a second, so I've got to get to F13. I want to shoot at ISO 64. So what I've done is, is, is accepted that. Um, ISO 13 will be fine. And um, you can see now that my histogram's just going off the edge, so I'm just going to pull that back a little bit. 
and I'm about a fourth of a second now. So I've just got to, I've just got to be careful about that really. It's that third of a second is where it's what makes the water look the best. What probably everyone doesn't realise, well probably do realise is as a vlogger you've got to walk up the mountain quite a few times and I'm knackered, I'm unfit, Woo! you can probably just see my camper van somewhere down there, just down there and I'm nearly at the top and it's getting really windy now so I'm going to keep going, next time you see me I'll be at the top, it's quite a nice little scene behind me. So, <laughs> I'm at the top, I say top because it's not the top really, it's just a, a little bit of a ridge leading up to the top behind me. But um, it was a nice little hike in the evening, it's getting really windy now so hopefully you can hear me. Oh, I've just been sat watching the mist roll in and the clouds roll in, isn't that just the most enjoyable thing to do? I could do it for so long just watching the mist roll through the mountains. There's just something super, super special about it. There is nothing better than being in the mountains on your own. I just love it so much. Right, it's time for a coffee. And I've got a pecan and maple syrup pastry. That's going to taste good. Now this is where I walk off that way and then pretend to just leave my camera behind. So, <laughs> I didn't expect this. I um, just woke up and I didn't expect there to be any sunlight this morning so I was gonna have a bit of lying after a late light last night. I looked out of the camper van and I've got this amazing light you can see here there's also some fog coming in which looks really cool actually. Um, I've got a few shots handheld it's bright enough I think so with the IBS I think it'll be okay. Just proves you've got to get out you've got to get out what am I doing? There's blue sky up there Anyway, I think I got a shot, but I really hope I got a shot. Still got my pyjamas on as well. Carrying dynamite, we are in full bloom under the moon. We are, we are happy most of the time. So I've just had a cup of tea and I've come back out. Look at this, it's so amazing. So amazing, the, the, the sort of rain shower's coming down and I've just decided to zoom quite close in. No foreground, because there's just no point. All the interest is in the background. And then there's a, a sort of a, a stream on one side and a road on the other side sort of leading your eye in at the bottom of the picture. The contrast in this is so beautiful. So I'm making sure that I don't blow the highlights out, but not worrying too much about it. But it's not quite shooting into the direct sun, so I'm, I'm, I'm being a little bit careful. I can hand hold it because it's bright enough. Here it goes.
that that was really really epic oh can't wait to get those photos the drama in the shot is so so good oh, i'm glad i stayed here i knew it was going to be quite good but i didn't think it'd be that good <laughs> yes well that was an exciting morning um i knew there was going to be a good view here but i hadn't sort of planned to take a shot here my plan was to sort of shoot out late last night like i was doing come back down that looked like it was going to be awful conditions in the morning so i was going to sleep in this morning to like eight o'clock or something and then go out and then scout something for tonight but i woke up at about five o'clock and i could see that there was going to be an a, a bit, maybe a little bit of a chance of some light, but I didn't have time to get up high um, to, to the location I was in, in with the stream, which would have been optimal. So I just made the most of it. And sometimes that's what you've got to do. Sometimes you've got to just make the most of what you've, what you've got. Um, so yeah, I didn't think about any foreground. Um, foreground is something that I feel that you've got to have a lot of time to sort of consider, really think about it, think how it's going to tell the story of the shot and I, I, I really need you know a good hour maybe two hours to find a good foreground and I couldn't find one here so it was just about shooting a little bit longer um, or just shooting up a little bit and having a, a wider scene or knowing that you're going to chop off that bottom part of your image if there is a little bit of foreground there that looks a bit messy but it, but it worked out well I was really pleased the light was what made it it was absolutely amazing light. I'm back home now. Wow, what an amazing morning that was and what amazing light I got and it, <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Um, I wanted to show you the image that I printed out. So this is this is the image. It's actually quite interesting because it's a, a 14 shot stack. So it's actually 128 megapixels. So the detail in it is incredible and it would look so good printed massive. I'm not 100% sure whether I should put this on my website as a portfolio shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna you know, have a mess about with it in Lightroom and mull over it for the next month or so. So you might see it in, in my portfolio at some point. Um, but yeah, I, I was really pleased with it. I got amazing conditions and I also um, did some really interesting stuff and got a really good shot the next day as well as um, some good shots that, that later in that day, which I'll show you next Sunday. I wanted, there's a few things I want to speak about. First of all, I wanted to mention my calendar. Um, so my calendar is, as you probably know by now, is up um, for pre-order and uh, that's going to last a, a couple more weeks. The pre-orders really helped me to find out um, the numbers, but I'm actually going to restrict pre-orders to a thousand this year. But if you want free delivery, then you need to ensure you get a pre-order and also with any pre-orders, I'm going to do the golden ticket again. So that means that um, we're going to put a golden ticket in one of the calendars. I don't know where, so it's a bit exciting for me as well as everybody else. Um, and then whoever wins it, I'll travel to you and I will do a free one-to-one -one workshop with you for a day or two. And I'm also going to put five silver tickets in as well so that I can do an hour-long online portfolio review or a one-to-one -one, um, chat about your photography and how I might be able to improve um, your, your photography. So if you want a chance of winning that, you need to get a pre-order in. Um, I was just going to talk about one of the photos in here as well, which is... So this photo here, so this is a, a, a photo that I took in Wales. I don't photograph a lot in Wales, but it was this amazing light here over Penya Wen. I probably completely pronounced that wrong. Um, and then the, the water going through, quite similar in, in a way to the shot that I took um, in, in today's video, but it had the light. And, and one of the things that I was doing with today's video was, and, and, and that early shot was trying to find locations that I could go back to when the light was better. Um, but this had everything, it got the light, I got the waterfall. Uh, and, and, and I really, really love this. I think it just captures everything. There's some snow here on the ground. You know, it tells a bit of a story. And I, I feel that the light just capturing the, the, the water at the top here just works really, really well. So I'm really, I really like this image. It's one of my favorite from the last 12 months. So that's my 2021 calendar pre-orders. The link's in the description below. 
and I massively appreciate anybody that orders it. Okay, that's it for this video. Until next Sunday, bye. Don't want to sleep tonight at all Just want to watch them stars fall